Welcome to Meet the Experts. The content in this presentation is not intended to be medical advice and viewers should consult with their physician for any medical questions. If you think you might be having a medical emergency, call your physician, go to the nearest emergency department or call 911 immediately. Our presentation for Meet the Experts today is patient to patient and our expert is Hugh Headley, who's a patient advisor here at Moffitt. Um, and I will let him tell you what that means. Welcome, Hugh. Thank you. I'm Hugh Headley, and I'll be talking today about how important it is in all the many ways of equipping your toolbox as a patient to thrive both in body and mind on your cancer journey. I myself was diagnosed at Moffitt Cancer Center in 2018 with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma in 75 to 80 percent of all my bone marrow. I immediately relapsed after my first line of chemotherapy treatment and then was prepared and received a bone marrow transplant at Moffitt at the end of 2019. The day of your transplant is referred to as day zero, your new birthday. And I still count the days instead of the years as a celebration of life on my own cancer journey. As of today, it not only cured my cancer, but also my multiple sclerosis I had since 2009. As I always like to say, I was pitched one baseball, but I hit two home runs. So let's talk about equipping your toolbox. Being told that you have cancer always creates a lot of anxiety about all the unknowns and the stress of juggling home life, work life, and now your healthcare decisions and treatment. Just like me, you may find yourself experiencing fear or worry about today, tomorrow, and the feeling of the loss of control in life. Always remember, if you experience persistent distress from any anxiety, stress, fears, or worries, please contact your Moffitt healthcare team or social worker to help. Because when I had problems on my own journey, they helped in many ways to overcome those difficulties. This brings us to building your resilience and being able to quickly recover from difficulties and facing those difficulties head on is so important on your cancer journey. Again, it is important to realize that you're on a journey uh, that is a marathon and not a sprint. So building that resilient mindset over time, you can become like the banyan tree in the picture, a beautiful representation of both growing in strength and thriving in the most difficult of environments. I have personally found that at Moffitt, the goal is to equip your toolbox with all the tools so that you can thrive and not just survive. Your Moffitt healthcare team sincerely cares about you, your loved ones and caregivers. As a patient myself, I've always felt that way and your cancer diagnosis is the top priority of your healthcare team. Their goal is to empower you and inform you to make better healthcare decisions. Just like my cancer diagnosis and treatment, your healthcare team will provide you with comprehensive treatment plan choices for the best outcome in overcoming a cancer diagnosis. This brings us to the Moffitt Cancer Center website at moffitt.org. It is absolutely essential to become familiar with as a tool in your toolbox and is the Everything Moffitt Information Resource for education and empowering you on your journey and helps facilitate your expert cancer care. On the website, you can learn about all the types of cancer and treatments that Moffitt provides, find doctors, clinical trials, and there are extensive resources for those newly diagnosed with cancer. Through the website, you can learn about scheduling appointments, get access to your Moffitt patient portal that I will go into further a little later, have access to the Moffitt events calendar, and so much more. I cannot stress enough how important it is to make Moffitt.org website a part of your journey. Before I go on, what has come up in many Moffitt support group sessions I have attended is regarding medical questions. I personally have learned not to ask search engines because the results may only lead to content that is possibly not trustworthy and could cause me more fear and anxiety. I instead get my questions answered by Moffitt physicians and social workers and find trusted resources from the Moffitt Patient Library and Moffitt website. As an example, I follow up with their recommendations to the resources found from the American Cancer Society 
And since I have Hodgkin's lymphoma, I regularly visit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's website for trustworthy information. This brings me to another incredibly important tool in your toolbox. It is the pen and paper. I have personally found it so important to always write down my questions before arriving to my medical consultation at Moffitt. In so many aspects, preparation is half the battle to being empowered and informed to make the best healthcare decisions. And remember, all of your questions are important, so ask them, be an active listener, and follow up with any additional questions. If you forget something or want some clarification on non-urgent questions, you can always follow up on the Moffitt Patient Portal messaging system. For more urgent questions or clinical concerns, you can always call the Patient Care Hotline, or if you have the direct phone number for your clinical team members, you can leave a message with your questions. Please ask them about this when you with your healthcare team. So this brings us to the Moffitt Patient Portal, the free, secure, personal connection to your medical information at Moffitt, and a tool to also find other helpful educational information. You can always access the patient portal through the Moffitt website and also with the free app or application on your phone or tablet. It not only empowers me to follow up with non-urgent questions and message my healthcare team anytime, but it can also view my schedule, change or cancel appointments. I love how easy it is to navigate and view my lab results, radiology reports, clinical notes, and current medication lists. And when I have a medication refill request, it only takes a few minutes to put in through the patient portal. So whether I am on a computer at home or when I am at Moffitt using the free app on my phone, I can connect to all this information and so much more. Another great tool for your toolbox is that all patients at Moffitt have access to a clinical social worker. Moffitt social workers can help and bridge the gap in so many different ways. They're trained to offer counseling and support services to help patients and their loved ones cope with the unique stress of diagnosis, treatment, and recovery. These range from conducting virtual support groups to helping you connect with services in the community as well as financial resources. I have myself connected with my social worker in every step of my journey. You may never meet your social worker if you don't need one, but if you do need one, they are available. Another fantastic tool for your toolbox is getting a regular schedule of appointments with Moffitt's registered dietitians. Just ask your healthcare team for a referral to see a registered dietitian. For over three years, I've had a dietitian and my life has been so much easier in dealing with the ups and downs of my weight, taste changes, and appetite loss. It is so helpful to have a dietitian to talk with about the best foods to eat during treatment, recovery, and your overall diet and future cancer risk reduction. In a Moffitt Meet the Experts talk given by the Cancer Survivorship Clinic back in April of 2022, I learned all about their mission to improve the lives of cancer survivors and how they can help you advocate for your personalized, comprehensive, high quality care after diagnosis and treatment. After the presentation, I immediately set up an appointment with the Cancer Survivorship Clinic specific for the bone marrow transplant patients. And I have been blown away by every aspect of their coordination in my continuity of care by the clinic in helping to arrange and schedule additional testing for bone density, cardiology, and blood results. I have met every few months by telehealth with the clinic and will continue to do so into the future and the personalized attention I have received to address my challenges after my transplant have been so comforting. I would encourage every patient with any type of cancer to talk with their healthcare team about survivorship and how the survivorship clinic can play an active role in their cancer journey. It is an incredible program that Moffitt offers and a great addition to your toolbox. Moffitt also offers the Supportive Care Medicine Program to provide an extra layer of support to patients and loved ones. These specialists collaborate with your oncologist to support you through your treatments and can help manage the physical, emotional, and social challenges of having cancer. 
the palliative medicine specialists provide symptoms management and help with the transitions of care and advanced care planning. Then there are behavioral medicine psychiatrists and clinical psychologists that provide medication management, therapy, and counseling to help manage stress and anxiety. As a community resource, Moffitt collaborates with the Emmerman Angels organization, and they can put you in touch with someone just like you who's already been through the cancer experience, helping to create a supportive relationship and a great tool for your toolbox. They will pair you with a mentor angel based on things like your age, diagnosis, and prognosis. Immerman Angels isn't just for patients, they can also connect caregivers and loved ones of people diagnosed with cancer with the same one-on-one -on -one support community. I can personally testify to the great things Immerman Angels has done in my own life. I was paired up with a mentor in April of 2020, and I am so blessed with that friendship and supportive relationship that has developed over time. And since May of 2021, I've had the opportunity to be a mentor angel helping others in their cancer journeys. Very special in my heart is the Moffitt Chaplaincy Care Program and offers clinically trained, non-denominational interfaith chaplains who can provide spiritual counseling and support to patients, loved ones, and caregivers. And when going through my own transplant at Moffitt and during times when I was inpatient at Moffitt's hospital, I had some very treasured visits by the chaplain on duty, and it was so comforting to me and my caregiver to have this beautiful offering of support. I have also spent many quiet and reflective moments in the interfaith chapel located on the first floor of Moffitt's Magnolia campus. And remember, it is always open and available. The Chaplain Sea Care Program is another important tool for your toolbox. You may contact one of the chaplains at any time through the nursing staff or by calling the Chaplain Sea Care Department. This takes us to the Patient Library and Welcome Center, located on the second floor of Moffitt's Magnolia Campus. And I can't speak more highly enough as it is an essential focal point of contact for information, support, and hospitality and is vital in equipping your own toolbox. There are so many resources to help you on your journey, like finding educational materials on all types of cancers, treatments, and things like coping skills and caregiving. There are computers for you to use, and there's always someone there that can help you access your patient portal if you need assistance. In addition, they offer free print, fax, and copy services. I would suggest that everyone stop in the patient library because you will always feel welcome. Located on the first floor of Moffitt's McKinley campus is the Patient and Family Center. It is just like the Patient Library and Welcome Center at the Magnolia campus and is also a vital tool in equipping your toolbox and having educational materials, offers free print, fax, copy services, and provides computers for you to use. There are also expressive art opportunities to explore your inner creativity through encouraged and guided arts and medicine services. I have, and I am sure you will, find it to be a safe and stress-free space and a comfortable space to just relax, create, and learn. So please visit the next time you're on the McKinley campus. Essential to Moffitt offering and delivering the world-class cancer care in your journey are the many Moffitt volunteers and peer visitors. The Moffitt Volunteer Services team are recognized by their red vest and are welcoming and compassionate in helping to improve your experience. So don't be bashful, always say hi. The Moffitts help fill the gap in so many ways in helping you navigate the hospital, to assisting with patient flows in the many clinics, to providing emotional support through the pet therapy program. I love so much seeing the volunteers walking their pet therapy dogs that are sometimes dressed up in their happy little holiday outfits and sparkling bow ties. They bring such a smile to my face and joy to my heart just seeing them, and I can feel the stress of the day just melt away. Also, Moffitt has volunteers that are peer visitors who are themselves patients or family members of patients and are recognized by their badges and who talk with other patients and caregivers to share their experiences related to cancer diagnosis and treatment. 
You may find yourself and strike up a conversation with a peer visitor in any of the many clinic lobbies, including the infusion and radiation treatment centers. Many of the volunteers, like myself, have been touched in some way by cancer and have joined the Moffitt team to simply give back or just help make a difference in other people's lives. This brings us to Patient Relations Department at Moffitt. Please remember that you can always reach out and contact a patient advocate in patient relations to receive assistance in navigating any of the Moffitt services, addressing and helping to resolve any concern about your care, to making a compliment about your experience at Moffitt, or just make any suggestions on how Moffitt can serve you better. In my experience with Moffitt, every concern, complaint, or compliment is important for Moffitt to know about. It helps for Moffitt to stay on their mission to deliver expert cancer care. So if you ever need to speak to patient relations, there will be a patient advocate there to listen and help you. In transitioning from more of the clinical aspects of this talk, I am so excited to now focus on the importance of the motivation and inspiration of having something to look forward to each day. Before I go to bed each night, I have purely out of routine, already have something to look forward to the next day. How do I do it? I simply make a schedule each week so I know what I will wake up to tomorrow. So don't underestimate the positive effects from just seeing a flower, the blue skies, or looking forward to drinking your cup of coffee in the morning. That's always a great start for me. So having this positive mindset each day will help you navigate both the stress and challenges of diagnosis and treatment. What I will now talk about are all the great coping tools and positive support tools that Moffitt has to equip your toolbox that I have found so helpful on my journey. The online Moffitt events calendar is just awesome. It is something I go to multiple times a week to check on because I can find so many daily and weekly individual and recurring events that give me something to look forward to each day. You will find that there are both on-campus and virtual events listed and have more detailed information pages and also sign up links. So just like me, I think you will be blown away by the variety of Moffitt events, whether it is a meet the expert session like you're in right now, or an integrative medicine class being offered to an educational webinar series, or one of the many different cancer support groups offered not only for patients' wellness and support, but also support groups for patients' loved ones, caregivers, and friends to attend. It is just as easy as going to moffitt.org forward slash calendar to help find something to look forward to, to find support, learn something new, and help build the routine of resiliency on your own cancer journey. This brings us to the Integrative Medicine Service. They have their office in the Moffitt Research Center on the first floor. They offer several mind-body therapies that can safely be used in combination with traditional treatments to improve the quality of life through treatment and survivorship. The services available are acupuncture treatment and also massage therapy performed by licensed massage therapists with specialized oncology training. And what I personally love and also found on the Moffitt events calendar is virtually attending through Zoom the Tuesday and Thursday gentle restorative yoga classes and the Wednesday relaxation meditation for stress relief sessions that are also an incredible positive coping tool for dealing with the physical and emotional challenges associated with treatment and beyond. What I find great about the events calendar is that you can always find out the weekday times and schedule for the art studio spaces at both the Magnolia and McKinley campuses. I have found, and I think you will also, that the arts and medicine program is not only a fantastic tool for your toolbox on your journey to both well-being and healing, but also for your caregivers and loved ones to just have some fun. So visit one of the art studio spaces at Moffitt to meet the artists in residence that offer many expressive art opportunities, including painting, drawing, fabric art, origami, poetry, live music, and more. I personally love creating colorful origami hearts at the art studio space with a caring message inside that I write 
that I can give as a gift to my loved ones and caregivers to open and read. What I also find important and as an expression of thankfulness is to create some origami hearts for myself with some inspirational or grateful message about that day that I can open and read at a later date in the future. And I want to tell you the best place to put that origami heart that you make for yourself is in your own gratitude jar to make as a reminder that love and courage and resilience on your journey do indeed and definitely matter. And if you did this simple expression of creativity and self-love, I can assure you that if you go to bed one night looking forward to pulling out that origami heart that you made that's inside of your own gratitude jar to read that message inside, that you will be inspired and encouraged that you are you're going to be strengthened and that you will be feeling grateful for you just being you. And please remember that asking for help and accepting help are strengths and vital tools in equipping your own toolbox. And know that all of Moffitt's medical office and support staff want to help you on your journey. And if you are experiencing persistent distress in any way, please contact your healthcare team or social worker to help. That is what they are there for. The help is there for you. You just have to ask. You are on a journey just like me. And teamwork is so very essential. And also that you are a team player on your journey because there are so many people that are cheering you on for overcoming your cancer diagnosis and an active support network for you before, during, and after your diagnosis and treatment. I personally attend the weekly Zoom patient support group every Tuesday and beyond just building my own resilience and being encouraged through the feeling of being listened to and understood in both a safe place and a brave space, I have made it a part of my essential routine and have learned so many positive coping skills to overcome the challenges in life that cancer creates. So in taking my own advice, when I go to bed each Monday night, I know I will have this Zoom patient support group I can look forward to each Tuesday afternoon. And in just knowing this, I can feel the stress and anxieties about tomorrow reduce. Moffat has so many positive and encouraging support programs for you, your loved ones and caregivers, and can help build the routine of resiliency in your life by equipping your toolbox with all the tools that you need on your own cancer journey in life. Thank you, Hugh, for that presentation. And thank you for watching Meet the Experts today. We do offer live sessions as well. So to find our live sessions, go to moffitt.org slash meet the experts. Take care.